What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. This week, I'm gonna run through a week of workouts, okay? So what my week typically looks like. This is gonna be slightly different this week because I'm off to Amsterdam from Brothers Stag do on Thursday, so there probably won't be much training this weekend. However, during the week, it should be fairly normal. So I'm gonna take you along. For a context, then I ran a half marathon yesterday, so it's Monday now. I ran a half marathon on Sunday, so legs are feeling it a little bit. But back into training this week, into gym training, so no runs today, no runs until Wednesday this week. We're going through some Olympic lifting, some upper body pressing work, and a little circuit at the end. So I'm gonna take you through it. Cool, so just check the program. I've actually got heavy snatches today, so going up to 90%, which for me at the moment is 80 kilos. So I'm gonna get on that on the bar. You'll see this, I'll speed it all up. I'll just warm up my snatch. And I work up to 80 kilos again, loads of fatigue in the legs, not making too many excuses already, but we'll see how this goes. And typically for my snatch warm-ups, I'll just run through a complex really of snatch stuff with an empty bar, and then just start loading the weight on and just go through reps and hopefully they feel okay. Nothing too prescriptive. I literally just do kind of five snatch grip RDLs five muscle snatches, five behind the neck presses and five overhead squats, and then I start to get, get going. So I'll speed that up or you'll see it, uh, and then we'll go through some lifting. We'll see how it goes. So quick, quick warm up, but I only go small jumps at the start. So. 30 kilos on, I'm gonna go for a few reps, hopefully they feel okay. Work into a little bit of positions, so do some pause reps, and then start, start building up, see what we get to. So if you've got a keen eye, you will have seen that drifted away from me, past the knee. I have to dial that in if we're gonna hit something good. Yeah, these are long runs on Sunday. Put me out a little bit for the Monday workouts, that's okay. It's only today and tomorrow I'm good to go again. 76 days till London. If you want to donate towards the marathon effort, I'll put it in the description below for the link. That'd be greatly appreciated. Try and focus on the lighter weights. Technique is a major focus for me because if you fall apart in the earlier weights and things aren't looking good, then it's only going to carry over into the higher weights and you're going to miss things. So when it's lighter percentages, you want to be dialing in that technique. Okay, another thing I quite like to do, excuse the blue lights, that's the LED sign, you can't see. Another thing I like to do if I'm building up to a heavy weight, heavy single rep, I like to take quite a big jumps. I find if I take smaller jumps, I'll, I come unstuck quicker because I get fatigued. So, I quite like to take a bigger jump, take a risk a little bit, and then I'm taking less attempts up to that top weight. So I'm on 70 kilos now, and as you've seen, it's pretty quick that jump. I hope that was sharp, but 70 kilos. Another thing I like to do uh, when I'm building up to any lift, really, I do this with all my lifts, is I try to leave my gear until the last minute. So as I build through the, through the reps, I'll start to put on my belt, I'll start to put on my wrist stuff, I'll start to put on chalk. I don't want to put all that on the start, because it allows me to feel like these weights are getting easier. So I've not used my belt yet, I'm at 70 kilos. I've only got 10 to go, so I'll probably use my belt for the next rep. And that just makes things feel lighter, even though things are getting heavier, if that makes sense. Also, if you hide your belt underneath your shirt for Instagram, no one knows you're wearing one. Top tip. OK, 
Okay, this is a fine line now. So, I've done 80. I feel good. 80 went up nicely. Felt heavy, but it went up nicely. So now I either stop or I can continue. There's that flexibility in the program, which I think is super important. Sometimes if you're just gonna sit to the program, you'll miss out on extra reps that you could have got. So I'm gonna give it a go. If it doesn't hit, it doesn't hit. We'll leave it there for today, but I'm already warm. Okay, things are feeling good. Might as well give it a go. Nope. Okay, so next on the schedule for today is some strict pressing. So overhead press, really humbling movement. I'm not very strong at it, as you'll see in a minute. But I'm doing 55 for two sets of five, and then a bit heavier, so 55 to 65 really, that range for two sets of three. So we'll see how this goes. Again, not my strongest movement, but I'm gonna start on 55, see how we go. Woo! Well, I tell you, that is the fucking weakest movement in the world. I feel like you're fighting the world. So again, same principle here. I'm not gonna use any aids until it gets really heavy. That was heavy for me, but I'm still gonna save myself, my belt and my wrist stuff for the heavier sets. Now this belt and the wrist straps need to come in clutch. Okay, first heavy set, 60 kilos on. Get back in the light. Here we go then. 30 pistols, 20 toes to bar, 10 devil press. Rest, repeat. Let's go. pistols for something because I went down on one of them and my glute felt weird so I'm not going to go any further with that. I'm going to rest my two minutes Woo! and switch it for lunges. I'm just to do 30 lunges, 20 toes to bar, 10 double breaths, then reach accessories. Okay, I wasn't too bad that but obviously I had to make an adjustment Sometimes it's important when you're in the middle of a workout, you get caught up and just want to finish it, but you've got to keep the long aim in mind of the marathon and things like that that I want to accomplish later on in the year. If I was to push that workout, I might have done something to my glute or put myself out of running for a few weeks, so not worth it. Switched it out for a lunge, that was fine, and got the rest of it done. Accessories now, four sets of 12, Arm press into some tricep extensions, body building to finish. Three sets of that, that's going to be me. I ain't going to be able to get much out of the fourth set, so no real point in doing it. The uh, intent of the day is to get things close to failure. That's achieved, so we're good to go. Got to do some core now. We're done. Core is going to be mega simple. I'm just going to do three sets of 20 seconds ish of an L to hold, so hanging on the bar, legs out in front. Here we go. So there we go, just went through input lifting, some strength stuff, a circuit, and some accessories. I'll see you tomorrow for tomorrow's training. So it's about midday, Tuesday. Work block in the morning is now done, which means only one thing, off to the gym for session number one. Okay, so 
Tuesday is typically always squats because I've recovered from my Sunday long run somewhat and now I can get into my heavy squats. Squats and leg conditioning. And then my first run of the week is Wednesday. Okay, so warmed up now. A few minutes on the bike, a few stretches, Cossack squats, that kind of thing. I'm gonna get into my squats, going back squat and front squat in the same session. I've got a lot of heavy back squats to do, so I've got to work up to a four at 90%, so 150-ish for me, 147. Uh, and then some heavy front squats. Let's go. Okay, pretty happy with that shot. I'm gonna get squatting, so work up to 150 for four ish. See how we get on. So I'll do my first set or two while it's light with a band around my knees. Just helps me activate my hips a little bit, activate my glutes. That means when I get heavier, I'm in a good practice of pushing my knees out, which always helps. Okay, all warmed up just like that. I uh, went 70, 90, 110, 125 and a half for six, my first set. And then we're on to 140 for four reps even. And then 147 slash 150, we'll see how I feel for four reps is the goal for back squats today. One, two, five in the bag. I felt heavy through there. So we'll see how this next one goes. Okay, 140 on the bar. Getting real now. It's been a while since I've put this off weight on my back. So we'll see how it goes. Four reps is the goal. Let's go. You can be the judge of depth on that. Might have been a bit suspect. We'll see. Whew. Didn't feel too bad though. Okay. A little bit of rest in the box. 147 and a half is gonna get on there and we're gonna see how four reps feels. Yeah, so that was heavy. <laughs> Again, step. I'm playing it by ear a little bit because I don't want to go too deep and injure myself. So, might not have looked ass to grass, but happy with that. That's a PR, I think, for four reps. Okay, back squats in the bag, front squats to come. So, all I've got to do is three sets of four, building up a little bit of weight. So, I'm going through 97, 100, 105, four sets, one set, three sets, sorry, one set on each weight. So, front squats feel heavy after doing heavy back squats, as you might imagine. But it's good to get them done both in the same session because then it means I've got both squats variations done on one day of training rather than spreading it out because I've got so much other stuff to do. Woo! Set what? 100 kilos now. Set four. Working way too hard on that. Okay, we've got a circuit now, which is going to be horrendous. 20 minute EMOM, minute one, 200 meter row, minute two, five thrusters, 40 kilos, five burpees. Basically, 10 rounds of that with a little bit of rest. Okay, so we've got 20 minutes, minute one, 200 meter row, minute two, five thrusters, five burpees, 10 rounds. Let's go.
So first run of the week, uh, forgot to film this morning's workout, but essentially it was just toes to bar, deadlifts and some uh, sub bike intervals. 15k easy run, I'm going to show you a little bit of the run and then the stats when we get back. Nutrition wise, I've had my electrolytes and uh, due to prior planning that was poor, I've now got a Twix to take with me. So I have that about 45 minutes in and 15k to go. We'll see if my Garmin charge holds up as well. See you on the other side. Lovely stuff. Five miles to go. Ten to go. So, 10k in the bag. Sun's going down behind me. Lovely stuff. Holding about 510. Nice aerobic. Five to go. About 3k to go. Lots of fatigue in the legs oh, from Sunday, but we're moving. Ooh, there we go, 15k in the bag. Strava stats will be somewhere out on the screen. 15k, 8.15, minute mile pace. Easy, supposedly. About to sprint the last. Okay, because I've got to work all the 10 minutes I hadn't planned to be out that long. So, hour 17 minutes, 15k. Touchdown in Amsterdam. Just heading to the gym now before all the rest of the lads get here for the stag. I'm gonna hit another body session and then that's me for the weekend. I think probably not gonna do anything till Sunday when I get back in the morning. I won't be filming the session because I've only got my phone with me, I haven't got the camera. So you can trust me that I did a push ball session for my own body. So there we have it, that's a week of workouts. Clearly again, not a typical week of workouts because I was in Amsterdam for that weekend. However, I didn't film my Sunday session which was just a 15k long easy run. But again, you can trust me that that happened. Make sure to tune in next week for a more detailed look at what a day in my life looks like. I'll see you then. If you have any ideas as to what you want to see in the future from us, then bang them in the comments and I'll be sure to get back to you. See you next time.